everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I am going to go over the top three mistakes that I find women making when they are trying to do intermittent fasting. So these are the things that are going to lead you off track, that are going to cause more stress on your body, and actually cause the opposite result of what you want to have happen. In. I am doing a 28 day reset that is starting February 5th. Right now, I have a flash sale. So you can save $50 on this whole reset. So if you are interested, click on the link, learn more about it, get involved. I'm only taking a certain number of women in this reset because it is going to be fast and furious and powerful. And we're going to go through details like this in person to make sure you're doing it correctly and getting the full, fantastic benefits of intermittent fasting. So, Fasting mistakes that women make here, I'm going to go through them, talk about why they're wrong, and then some little things that you can do to make sure you're doing it correctly. Overall, when we talk about intermittent fasting, I'm referring to fasting that is at least about 24 hours long, um, and you're going to be incorporating you know, some type of nutrition in there to make sure your body is getting fueled correctly. So if you have never done fasting like this before, but you're interested and you want to, the reset is going to be perfect. I will walk you through it safely and efficiently so you're doing it right. Um, if you've done it before and you're like, that sucked, uh, <laughs> great, then the reset is going to be perfect for you <laughs> because it's going to be a completely different experience. Um, if you are really looking to up your game, if you are, have not gotten the results you wanted starting nutrition for 2018, if you are really searching for something above and beyond, and if you're wondering just even if this is the right thing for you to incorporate, you can also message me, you can comment on the video, I'd be more than happy to chat with you on how to go through and do this. In fact, just because I am now a part of a different fitness routine for myself because I'm playing football, whoop whoop, football. Um, I actually had to change my intermittent fasting schedule to make sure my body has enough time to recover. The goal of intermittent fasting can be part of weight loss, it can be part of a lot of different things, but ultimately there's a ton of health benefits to it. So if you're not doing it correctly, it can be a lot harder on your body than beneficial. So biggest mistakes that people make is that, again, so we're talking about the 24 hour fasting on average, but that you're not eating and you're not eating anything. You're thinking, oh, if I'm fasting. I am just out of food, like no food at all. It is just water and that's it. Nope. That's the biggest mistake when we look at women's bodies and how they react and respond, especially to stress. If you run out of fuel and if your blood sugar drops, it's actually going to cause an increase in cortisol, the stress response in the body. That's going to have a negative effect on what you want to have happen from intermittent fasting. So not eating at all is the first mistake. Yes, you're going to want to not eat full meals, but you're going to want to have snacks throughout the day. So instead of not eating, you're going to want to have small snacks, right? It's important to incorporate those on a regular basis to get a different result. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally different, right? Like this is blowing your mind right now that, oh my God, I get to fast, but I'm having snacks. Snacks are my favorite. Snacks are my favorite too. I'm just saying, I love snacks. So having snacks throughout the day is going to provide you that completely different result. You're going to get your blood sugar going. It's going to stay even throughout the day. Is it the same as if you're eating full meals all day? No, it's not. But you're also not completely depriving your body. When your gas tank is on empty, your car doesn't go anywhere, right? Uh, same thing here. If you're not eating anything, your body is not going to perform or produce like you want it to. So it's really, really important. Jane, Janine, you're saying you're intermittent fasting today? Yes, perfect. Awesome. Awesome. So yeah, so snacks throughout the day. Again, if you have questions, more questions on this, um, let me know. Or if you want me to do a specific video just on some of these things, I can do that. Let me know what you're, what you're looking for and I can dive into it. Or if you're wondering if you're doing it correctly, again, message me. I'm more than happy to chat with you about how to go through this so that you're successful in doing this because it is so beneficial for women, for your bodies, for your health, everything. Okay. The other thing too is that women don't drink enough water. You get hydration from the food that you're eating. So that's part of the liquid and hydration that you get throughout the day, right? If you're not eating full meals, you're missing out on some of that hydration. So if you're saying, well, I drink a lot of water anyway, and if I'm going to be fasting, I'm not, you know, I'll just, great, I'll just drink my water. You need to up that water intake. You need to increase that more. You need to increase your water intake 
way more that day. So, you know, this is, again, this is a way to go through a fasting cleanse, um, and it's a fat cell cleanse, uh, but it, and it provides a whole new result on the body. The difference between this and other cleanses is that, again, you're not like running to the bathroom like, whoa, right? The only thing is that it may increase your urine output because you're drinking more water. Perfect, right? But again, you need to up that water intake. Even if you think you drink a ton of water, up that water intake because you're not getting that hydration from the food you're eating. The last thing that women do not do correctly and that they miss completely is that you're not getting enough rest for your body. That you're not letting your body really go through this full reset when you're fasting. There are some people who feel like, yes, I can still work out when I'm fasting. I can still push my body. You know, I am training for a marathon and I really got to stick to my running schedule, blah, blah, blah. Great. Yes, you can absolutely still do that. But you're going to have to pick a day where it's not one of your big mileage days, right? I do not do intermittent fasting when I have my big weightlifting days. That just doesn't right? That doesn't make sense. If I'm going to be weightlifting, I'm going to be pushing my muscle mass, pushing how much my body can do. That's not a great day to decrease my calories and, uh, and, and go through a rest phase because it's just going to tax my body too much. Again, we're talking about the response that your body's going to have with too much output and energy and then the stress that kicks on because of that. We want to keep the stress levels down. When you're going through fasting, it's going to reset a lot of different systems in your body. And if you're not doing it correctly, again, it's going to backfire on you. Your stress is going to increase. You're going to have the opposite result then of increasing your metabolism, um, really resetting your digestive system, getting better sleep, being able to build more lean muscle. All these things that are benefits of fasting will not happen if you're not doing it correctly. So not getting enough rest. Again, you can take a full rest day and do your fasting on that day. You can alter your fasting schedule to fit in with the pockets that you are resting. Um, or just pick a lighter day. Are you doing yoga for a day that's, you know, an easier yoga class or something? You know, that can be your lighter activity day that you're doing your fasting on, right? So easy to make sure that you're getting enough rest and fitting it in with your schedule. This is another reason I love, love, love doing intermittent fasting for women. It's amazing because women are busy, right? Like, I don't know any gal that's like, oh, I have all the time in the world. Oh, don't worry about it, right? No, women are busy. Oh, <laughs> you've got stuff to do. So it's easy to say, you know what? Okay, I've got this today, this tomorrow, leg day is Wednesday, and then this is Thursday and blah, blah, blah. Okay, ooh, I should do my fasting on Friday because then Saturday I have this event and I'm going to my um, a bridal shower or something, you know, right? So you've got these things scheduled. Take your intermittent fasting and plug it into your schedule where it works best for you so you're successful on it. Whew. All right, so that's what I got for that. Again, this is something I will walk you through in the 28 day reset. If you are nervous about fasting, if you've never done it before, the reset's gonna be perfect to step into it. Um, or if you've done it before and not done it successfully and felt like you failed at it, again, something that I will walk you through. Intermittent fasting is a practice, meaning you don't have to be perfect at it the first time you do it. You're still gonna get benefits from it. You're still gonna have these amazing things shift in your body from even going through half of a fasting day, right? If you do make it through at least a full 24 hours of fasting, benefits for women is that your growth hormone increases by like 1300%. Crazy. Growth hormone is responsible for helping build lean muscle, for helping with weight loss, all these other amazing things. Other benefits for women going through um, intermittent fasting, again, besides that growth hormone, if you don't know how important growth hormone is, oh my goodness. Um, it, it's like, it's a complete change, game changer for women, like boosting your energy, boosting everything else. And this is working with your body to naturally produce it. So that's one of my favorite things about it is that it really teaches your body to function and work better on its own um, and, and everything else. So it's it's phenomenal. Wait, there was a question somebody had. Let me scroll back a minute. Ooh, rule of thumb for amount of water. Really, really good question. Um, and somebody else commented, half your body weight in ounces, so 150 pounds, minimum 75 ounces of water. Yes, perfect. Yeah, that's a great you know baseline calculation. Um, but I also say things like, if you are still thirsty, you still need to drink more water. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so sometimes you may need to drink more water because 
your body may need it. Um, Janine, you're saying you've, you're fasting. Oh, and you feel like it's helped with your PCOS. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So besides the growth hormone piece for women, why it's so important when you talk about women going through hormonal issues, you know, PCOS, endometriosis, fibroids, menopause, all these things, it helps really work with your hormone system. And again, this is a whole nother <laughs> video on how fasting helps with hormones, which if you guys want more info on that, I'll dive into that more in a different video. But it helps so much with that. Um, and it really provides a different result. So if these are things that you are struggling with, if you are struggling with doing intermittent fasting correctly, making sure you can make it through the day, feeling like you are getting the best result out of what you're doing. Um, if you have hormone issues and you're struggling with that and feeling like, oh, I keep screwing things up. I keep getting off track. That's okay. Again, throwing in some intermittent fasting can really help reset your system really fast to get you right back on track. So if you're interested in this uh, 28 day reset I'm doing, click on the link, get signed up. This flash sale is not going to last very long and it is capped at a certain number of women. So if you want in, do it sooner than later. Um, if you found this helpful, I would love, love, love for you to uh, click and you know like it, share it, share it with your friends. So many people struggle with things and they are not sure what to do. Um, and then again, if you have questions yourself, don't hesitate, comment on the video or reach out to me in a message and make sure that you are getting the right start that you need to do this correctly. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Jamie, you're saying you're gonna watch the replay of this. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So again, not eating, not getting enough water and not getting enough rest. Biggest mistakes that I see women making when they're trying to do intermittent fasting. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, let me know if you need anything else, but otherwise I will see you later.